Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. Going to do a quick update on the North American Craton earthquakes that have occurred the past seven days. I'm showing you here earthquake <coughs> 3D, which I've um, changed the normal default scheme to a tan background for the oceans. I've labeled the seismic tectonic plates throughout the world and though this is a continental shelf that forms through most of the United States I'm tracing it here and uh, following I will show you uh, a Wikipedia uh, layout of it it goes up through Greenland and and um, Canada Alaska comes down through the western part of the United States, Northwestern, um, Nevada, Arizona, down through Texas, and then up over and through the um, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, up through New York, and then back up into Canada. <clears throat> I've labeled on here the Yellowstone area because it's quite, quite uh, often having quakes. The New Madrid, which is over here by me in Missouri. I live just to the west of St. Louis, not too far from the New Madrid. Pronounced Madrid, not Madrid. <clears throat> but anyway, this is um, today's earthquake activity, and we've had a 3.0 here in California. So now we're going to move back in time. I'm going to slide the scale here and move back in time the past seven days and give you an overview of what's been going on. <clears throat> First I'm going to um, zoom in <clears throat> okay let's go back a day and there's a quake in uh, northern Oklahoma uh, Dutch Sense, as most of you know, thinks these are related to fracking. They've installed additional uh, seismographs, four I think, to try to determine this. Um, going back two days, there's additional quakes there in Oklahoma. Um, one over here in um, northwest Nevada and um, Washington going back now another day um, additional quakes in Oklahoma some in California which they're a little removed from the Craton. I don't know if it's really if affecting them or not. It may they may affect the craton, however, putting pressure on it. There's more <clears throat> There are more in Nevada. In the northwest corner, been having quite a few there. Going back another day. Okay, there's one in south eastern Nevada. 2.6 and several more in um, northwest Oregon, southwest Washington. Quite a few there are 3.1, 2.8, 2.7, 4.0, 3.5, Pretty significant activity there. Okay, now we're back about four days. There's one popping up in um, northwest Montana. And then down here, not too far from Yellowstone, that would be um, north. <clears throat> West Colorado, 
those are interesting 3.4 there and a 3.9 in Montana and then one all the way down here in Texas northern Texas um, that's very curious we see several quakes here too down in Mexico although I'm really talking more about the craton but it's curious we're having these quakes here uh, going back uh, almost five days more quakes in Oklahoma going back five days five and a half still more quakes one here on the northwest side of, or the southwest side of my state Missouri it's interesting going back six seven days um, and we had another one up here in northwest Montana so let's okay let's move forward now that we moved back seven days let's move forward and look at the activity so moving six days ago five days ago four days ago three days ago two and one <clears throat> so quite a bit of activity more so than I'd say we've had for some time a little more spread out none to the east though we expect maybe some of these quakes to transition over further east they moved as far west as Missouri um, near the New Madrid so let's look for possible quakes on the east side here um, there's been quite a bit of activity along the ring of fire we'll zoom out a little bit here to look at that and uh, let me slide this scale here I'm going to go to a different view of of only 5.0 and greater quakes and we've had activity fives along the southeast side of the ring of fire 5.2 down here on the south side and then on the southwest side of the ring of fire at a 6.8 which is really significant five three five 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 seven this is all along um, <clears throat> New Zealand area in Indonesia we had some 5.7 uh, 6.2 several fives over here um, just north of Australia and 5.2s up here and 5.7 up near Japan. Don't be surprised if we have some major, more additional major activity here along the southwest side of the Ring of Fire. It's really showing a lot of activity, um, more so than on the southeast side. The southeast side, I would assume, would affect maybe the Craton more, but it's just hard to say. Um, Mid-Atlantic Ridge over here at a 5.2 taking a quick spin around looking at north of the African plate we had 5.2 or 5.3 and a 5.4 um, and down here on the southern part of the African plate a 6.2 that's a heck of a quake there <clears throat> so there's a lot of activity a lot of fives throughout the world and some sixes so um, just keep your eyes open and uh, here in the United States we'll continue to watch the North American Craton to see if it's going to be affected by some of these quakes that are occurring in various places so um, so I think the activities increase some um, if you're interested in more about earthquake uh, go to my website which I'll show at the end of the video um, and that's all for now, YouTubers. Old John over and out.